There's a whole bunch more uh, copper gutters back here. You usually don't see these very much. In Baltimore, they're, what I'm saying is people already recycled as many of these as they could years ago. We walk in the puppies with the starter jacket on and the sweaters. I just wanted to show y'all real quick. I Getting every last little piece of copper I can now. A little macaroni shaped ones in there. Bump some flowers for my girl or my daughter from the guy walking down the middle of Route 40. Ooh, they're heavy. It's Cause that compressor weighs freaking a lot of weight. Check this out. This thing works. It's a walk man. <laughs> it's old, but uh, I turned it on and it actually lit up and started rewinding and stuff. We got this, this the very next day. Old Michael Jackson. How cool is that? Vintage nostalgia. Okay, I'm going to pick up a deep freezer out of a basement on a Sunday. Okay, guys, real quick, I'm out here shifting this fridge. The TV and all came falling way out here. I had to move it all back in this corner. Now I'm on the way to go look at this deep freezer and I will get more footage when I get there. There's the Christmas right decorations. I'm supposed to pick up a deep freezer in the neighborhood. I'm in the neighborhood, up here in the court. Hopefully I go get it. And if so, I will grab some footage, guys. It's raining a little bit. It's cold out today. In Winter is amongst the us. Destination is on your left. Okay, I am at the location. Here's the basement door. There's a freezer the size of a refrigerator coming up around here. Going to my truck as well as a dehumidifier. And uh so I'm gonna need my dolly out of here real fast or my hand truck. And then I'm taking a little bit of carpet and extra stuff as well. Yeah, let's go get this done. Guys, we almost got it. We almost got it. Woo. A little bit wet out. Slippery leaves. Once I got around that back, it's all downhill. Then a dehumidifier. Isn't very heavy. A little bit of carpet. Truck's right there. Almost got it. Success. Okay, guys, this carpet and this dehumidifier. Already got the fridge, freezer, and then we're done. It's a nice area. A little shelf out of the garage, but that won't take long. Let's get this loaded up. Okay, guys. Road. I picked all that stuff up. Road. I got paid to remove it and a little bit of like carpet and a wooden shelf is back here. I'm going to drop off in my storage unit. I might be going out tonight picking up appliances as well. And uh, the guy was very friendly. He's from an hour away in Pennsylvania and he might need me to do a leaf removal job down here within the next week or so and I told him I'm absolutely available sir let me know 
working on a rainy Sunday, guys. Okay, I'm going to drop all these appliances off at my storage bin unit right now. Say hi, guys. It's cold and wet. <clears throat> Baltimore, Maryland. Okay, got to get this. Refrigerator, freezer, and dehumidifier in here. Here's my small metal stash, a shopping cart, another dehumidifier, hot water heater, and a washing machine and an old chair. And then I uh, got a bucket of a whole bunch of just random crap under here from in my truck. A little bit of stainless. Check these guys out. These came from a job. Oh, flex adjustable. You adjust it and then it picks up that many discs. All right, it's getting cold. Got to take my uh, hedge trimmer. Put it indoors for the winter. I put my blower and my uh, line trimmer as well because your engines will gel up if you leave them in the cold over the winter. The following season, they won't start. Everybody says it's the carburetor. Even when you clean it out about eight times, it keeps clogging. It's like the gelled up gasoline mixture, two cycle, whatever, ruins your carburetor. Engine guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not even a big engine guy, but it does mess them up. So we're going to try to put it indoors. Okay, and then I got this shelf I got to break up, put a mirror and a little bit of wood in here temporarily until I go to the landfill. Let's get to work in the rain, guys. My brand account, the email that I started my channel with, somehow got like hacked. There's a new email in there I've never heard of. And uh, I was locked out of my YouTube channel for two weeks. I have to change the permissions and let a different email get in there. That's the way I can upload right now. I hope I don't lose my channel. I've been working 18 months on it. I'm so close to monetization. I need help. Somebody that knows what they're doing. Good morning, good morning. I picked up a trim nail in one of my tires. I've had a slow leak for a little over a week. Wanted to show you guys, last night I went out and did the bulk trash run again. Got a nice little load in here. These things are hollow, so they take up a lot of room, but they're still metal. This is a giant, some kind of Mitsubishi air condition, I think. I've never seen one of these. It's a weird air condition. Computer, some kind of, there's a microwave, some kind of uh, speaker up there, a bunch of other stuff. There's a Craftsman chair that's really cool, but it's broken cracked, so I can't keep it. Power washer, two TVs, another air conditioner, stuff like that, guys. Uh, I'm going to take all this, break it down, and combine it with the stuff in my storage unit that I got on video yesterday. We're going down to scrap, y'all. It's a beautiful freezing cold day. Let's get it. Two fridges, a washer, a hot water heater, and a shopping cart in here. <laughs> Somehow, I gotta pull a lot of this down, organize these, or cut them in half, maybe. Somehow, we gotta make it fit. We'll make it fit. It's gonna be tight, but we'll get it. Really fast, I wanted to show you guys this. So my brother got me a heated jacket at DeWalt when it's really nice. I'm gonna make a video soon. So I got him one of these. Milwaukee wireless job site speaker. This is the M18 or the M12. He uses the M18s and he likes Milwaukee. So here you go, bro. You got more batteries than me. I'm stealing just one of these. There's two of them and another charger. Christmas sales are ridiculous. Uh, all this was like, they say around $300 off because of how they do it. 
But yeah, Home Depot, Home Depot, Home Depot. Okay, so we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to work. Work, 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 work. A beautiful day out. I was wearing uh, soaking wet gloves all last night out, scrapping in the dark again, just like my last video. Okay, I'll get more footage in a little while, guys. So, I'm getting stuff sorted up in there. I wanted to put this on there. I've never gotten one in this exact shape. It's got a big old radiator in it. I cut it to make sure that it's copper on the inside. It is. This is a uh, Mitsubishi Electric Slim. Pulled a few screws out so far. It's got the copper macaronis going. A little radiator. I'm going to tear that out. There's another little AC. Uh, I got so much more going on here. But yeah, I'm starting to build the load up. A little bit of brass on there. Bunch of screws as usual. Let's get it. Okay, guys. So I'm still taking this thing apart. They always have insulation. Don't get it in your eyes. Blah, blah, blah. I got to cut this off and stuff. But um, here's the casing. I'm going to shove in there nice. This came out of there. There's a board and a heat sink. These are aluminum. But what I've really started recording for is uh, if you take a look at these dumbbells, these are adjustable. I think I put them on there yesterday. And I was showing you can turn this and decide how heavy it is. Well, new online, these are like 300 to 350 right now. So I put them on Marketplace for 200 I believe. Somebody said they'll pay 150 cash. I was like, if you uh, do it today, that's fine. Cash, he said he's going to meet me in 20 minutes. So we're stopping this operation. I'm loading this up, and I'm going to meet this guy at Home Depot. Hopefully, we get these sold. We both make a great deal. Both flex. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this dude right here, we just got them going. I'll take it. We are going back to the storage unit now because I have a whole bunch of stuff to break down still. And right before the guy got here, I looked in the back of my truck. All the stuff fell down like an avalanche. All right, let's go back to the unit and get this done. Real fast, guys. Pulling radiators out of these ACs. Getting every last little piece of copper I can now. The little macaroni shaped ones in there. Got a very little bit of brass, not much. But yeah, I'm gonna turn this into a decent trip to the scrapyard, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know if you guys can see this right. Yeah. More macaroni. Can you see these pretty good? Yeah, there's the macaroni. More macaroni. I guess it all adds up, right guys? Every piece. Copper, copper, copper. It's getting very, very cold out here. But we're uh, making decent timing, I guess. I'm gonna start packing all this crap into shortly. Pile it to the edge. My truck looks crazy sticking out, but it's all right. We're just scrap and that's what we do okay guys i'm wrapping up i got everything loaded i've been here forever it's late it's like 1 or 1 30. um i'm gonna put these on the tailgate and head out cutting this guy up these hand tools up get these on the back and we should be good after that let's go see what the uh bulk trash etc gave us
it wasn't as easy as it looked. It kept getting stuck. Bedliner. But yeah, now we strapping in good. Then we go to the yard. <laughs> Let's get it. All right. I'm dropping this down the yard, about to get on the scales, and then uh, we'll go uh, do the non-ferris after I throw everything out. It's a beautiful day down here, guys. Let's go get weighed up. Okay, everybody, I just got the straps off. I'm gonna start throwing all this out. It's a mess here today. This is a bag full of wire. I didn't show you guys earlier. It's a bunch of house wire. Well, yeah, there's wire in there. I'm fight with all this stuff. When I'm done, go around to the non fair section. Keep throwing all this out, guys. And I'll get more footage when I'm done. Sheesh. We dropped all that off. That took forever. It's a bunch of non ferris in the back. Uh, I'm not going to record them, guys. The channel is close to a thousand. It's at like 985, guys. Took me over 18 months as of December the 1st. Yeah, we get monetized and somebody scammed my freaking account one week before it. I'm gonna keep working on it. Let me go grab this ticket. We're going the right way. We're not going the wrong way. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. We're looking at 1,400 pounds, guys. Times nine is 90. 30, 126, I believe. I can do math. I just ain't very great at it. <laughs> Go get my ticket sign. I'll get more footage when I uh, get done the nine Ferris and we'll, we'll do the tail of the tape like salvaging and AZ always says. The tail of the tape, guys. My millions. All right, guys, I made it into the non Ferris line. It's a super long line. Uh, I'm next. I'm gonna go turn all this in. See what we get, scrap pirates. Ladies and gentlemen, really fast. 1,400 pounds at nine cents. 
Should be 126, I believe I said earlier. From the mathematician and the scrapper. Um. So the non-Ferris wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. For a total of what what did that say? $91.81 for a grand total of bump 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 uh, 100 210 15 16 17 dollar 217 guys not bad not bad and a whole bunch of candy <laughs> Christmas is upon us soon. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna probably get a little bit more footage on this same video. Supposed to go pick up an air condition from a uh, apartment complex, but I gotta stop by my family's house real quick and then go out there. Meaning it would have been sitting there for almost an hour and hopefully it's still there. If it is, I'll get footage guys. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Everything must go, YouTube. Almost at a thousand. I appreciate you guys a lot. That's real quick. Stop by to see my cousin. And uh, he's got a whole bunch of gutters for me. I'm going to take them all. I just left the yard. I'm going to smash them down and throw them right in this truck real fast. More metal, more metal. It's a whole bunch of gutters and uh. I think there's some gutter guards in there as well, but scrapper, scrapper, scrappers. I'm still grabbing uh downspousing gutters out of here. And I see these brown ones. I'm like, somebody got them old brown ones, but there's no way they're copper. Sheesh. Some copper downspouts. They're very old because most scrappers know uh people got all the copper stuff years ago and roofers know that too i used to be a roofer you don't see that much of the older copper style uh downspouts anymore but there's a little bit and there's another piece in the back of that truck i will definitely take that for him <laughs> copper 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 my husband had to go to work and his girl said there's some metal out back she pulled it all out of the shed for me there's a whole bunch more uh copper gutters back here you usually don't see these very much in baltimore they what i'm saying is people already recycled as many of these as they could years ago my dad told me all the good stuff was gone in like the 70s but yeah they're worth money i'll definitely take these no matter what few half gutters a whole bunch of pipe wow it might be like 40 pounds of copper i would guess There's a few more in there too you don't never see these no more and i'm guessing these are definitely really old because of the shape of them and uh yeah they're copper all right wow thank you cuz just smashed my finger yeah there's some gutter guard up here too i gotta get all this out of here i'll probably take them to my storage unit because i'm still going out tonight uh bulk trash collection man oh man yeah to people that don't scrap this is just trash and it's in their way to people that do scrap this is straight money not bad huh scrapper yeah i got pounds of it now i'm gonna get a nice little section of video just for that too awesome i'm like an hour late so it's probably gone but we're gonna go find out christmas trees on sale guys yeah tis the season i bought some flowers for my girl or my daughter from the guy walking down the middle of route 40. More Rossville and 40 popular if you're from Essex or Baltimore County. They sell these for ten dollars now, they used to be five, but whatever. It's the thought that counts, scrapper. 
Oh my gosh. I only been gone from the scrap yard like not too long. Air conditioning, HVAC still here. We're getting that right now. Yeah, that's going to the storage unit. That's part of tomorrow's mission. And I'm still going out bulk trash scrapping tonight as well. I got to go put all this in my storage unit. Sheesh, let's get it out of here quick before somebody jumps on it. Okay, so I got the furnace on there. Get some footage getting this heavy little air conditioning with this guy. More copper. Let me put this down here. Wrestle this thing over. Ooh, they're heavy. It's because that compressor weighs freaking a lot of weight. this in real good and take it to the storage unit grab this last little piece of metal up here Oof. it is absolutely freezing out today sun's going down it's getting much colder it was very windy as well right, guys i'm gonna strap this on another nice score good morning good morning good morning youtube Dun, 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 dun. Last night, once again, I won out bulk trash collecting in the dark. We've got an HP printer in there, uh, air conditioner too. I forget how many, a couple mini fridges. Nice little load. Plus, the last footage on this video was uh, showing you guys all the copper gutters and stuff I gotta go dismantle. I'm going straight to my storage unit and starting to break stuff down. We got a nice little load to take. There's a shopman cart as well. Some TVs, lawnmowers. Yeah. Recycle time. Scrap man, scrap man. Hard work, guys. Very hard work. Shall we? It's a beautiful morning. Beautiful. Okay, guys. We made it, we made it, we made it. Somebody tell uh, Mr. Scrap that he, I'm watching him wrestle a washer and dryer into his truck on the way to my storage unit. I watched uh, a bunch of you guys. Salvaging an AZ, Bax, a bunch of you guys. Uh, Thub Print, Scrap Rodriguez, Bush Dog, Scrapper. Oh, you guys, I try to check out Big Country Scrapper, Scrap and Junk, all of them. So, yeah, we got this truck full, and we got this storage unit, air conditioner, furnace, I think. Yeah, man, oh man, copper galore. Look at this copper. Sheesh, I swear this is like 50 pounds of copper, probably maybe more. And then all that is aluminum. Back there is the gutter guards and they're just steel. I don't even think I can fit all this in one load. Maybe I can stomp them gutters down. We're gonna pull all this off and try to organize it. Tetris it up in there much better. We are going to the scrap yard once again. Money, 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 guys. Yeah, now the goal's 5,000 once I get 1,000. Let's get to work. I appreciate every one of you YouTube guys and the scrap community especially. Okay guys, I've been here forever, like two hours. These are the steel gutter guards. I stomped all the downspouts real flat, compressed them, it took me forever. I cut all the solder parts and caulk if there was any off of the copper. Like, if you look, uh, see any 
place they had copper I got rid of the ends and all um it ain't that much in here but there's a lot up there a decent amount um so there's still a whole bunch of uh steel gutter guard back here I gotta get I'm trying to load the truck up this has taken me way too long so far but it's okay I don't have to like run out and go do a job right now I'm just scrapping I gotta smash all this up in there safe so the wind don't take it it's very windy and cold out today I'm gonna smash it all up in there somehow and then see what I can do with this uh, AC and this I might take the radiator off and put the unit itself in there and, and do the uh, copper and the radiators later because it's like 12 45 close to 1 p.m i believe i have to pick up a 12 year old today very important my daughter uh, but yeah we're making progress building a nice fat load again huh we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. There's still some lawn mowers and grills. I got a force up in here as well. Okay guys, I got the truck all packed up finally. I got a strap pretty good. I'm on the way to the yard now. We'll be there in like eight minutes and I will get pictures and footage when we get there. I'm anxious to see how much the copper gutters weigh. Let's go find out. Arr like we always do about this time let's go get in this pile of light iron and add some weight to it hitting the scales guys 80,000 pounds sheesh Made it to the yard. I got a picture. Look at that jump drum or whatever. Must start throwing everything out. Get a little bit of footage. Let's be safe about this. Got this heavy thing on top. Keep this bucket. I actually need this because I lost one yesterday. This guy is not too heavy. Go ahead. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I bet. I bet. Here's our air condition. Ow, I just pinched my hand. That did not feel good. We'll get it. of this out and then keep the non ferrous and then we'll take that around when I'm done and getting weighed again. Okay. okay guys I'm gonna go grab my ticket. I believe it's just under a thousand pounds like 900 and some. Then we could take all these gutters and such to the non ferrous 1,040 pounds, so a little over half a ton. Let's go get this ticket signed, guys. 
This morning it felt like 29 degrees. It is cold out here today, boy. That was a successful run. So, uh, 1,040 pounds, I forget, 90 some bucks. And then the non-Ferris was sweet. Computer was four dollars and something. The sink was 84. I had a bucket of just copper pieces, it was 1974. All them gutters and siding came to $63. A little bit of wire, a dollar. Clean copper aluminum radiators, $12.60. They called it light copper for them gutters. At $133, total of $240 of non-ferris which is beautiful 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 for a grand total of 100 200 300 20 30 1 2 3 4 334 dollars not bad at all on to the next one and i still got the air condition unit in my storage unit i did not have time to ch chop that all up right now all them screws it takes like a half hour just for one um i gotta go get my daughter or i would keep scrapping right now but i can't however i'm going out tonight thank you guys for watching this will probably complete that video thank you scrappers on to the next one guys everything must go real quick YouTube it's like 35 degrees up here and windy and it says it feels like 25 out right now so we walk in the puppies with the starter jackets on and the sweaters I just wanted to show y'all real quick I got a tangle but yeah absolutely freezing up here absolutely freezing come on babies we're going home it's cold Woo! cold puppy dogs